Accessing the feed now. We're in. But I don't know for how long. You seeing this? Way too much security, even for Advent. That's no ordinary gene therapy clinic. They were telling the truth. Or they're leading us into a trap. A really obvious trap. We'd need an army to march in there right now. I've got a better idea. Outrider, this is central. Go. Mistakes are bound to happen. It wasn't our fault. Please! There's no need for any of this. I will do what you ask of me. I just need additional time. Did you say something? You're one of those. You must understand. I had no choice. Outrider. Report! So, you do exist. Outrider to Avenger, I have visual confirmation. Are you sure? Reapers are always sure. I'll take your word for it. Cover your tracks and get the hell out of there. They can't know we were here. Yet. Understood. Now the real war begins. Excitement continues to build as city centers across the globe prepare for the 20th anniversary of Unification Day. Thousands line up at the site of the Great Accord, celebrating the formation of the Advent Coalition. Keeping with their promise to humanity, 12 new gene therapy clinics will be opening in select cities by the end of the new year. Despite the attempted attack by fringe elements, operations at the new facility in Paris thankfully remain unaffected. In response to the unprovoked intrusion on the eve of our most beloved celebration, the speaker reaches out to us. Small number of dissidents again repeat the mistakes of the old world. Striking as we celebrate the benevolent savior who time and again offers only friendship and compassion. Yet these trivial actions could never break the bond between humanity and the elders. Peacekeeping forces have already made several preemptive arrests of known collaborators. Advent again assures all citizens that today's celebrations will continue as planned. Perfect. The Advent Administration reminds you to record all suspicious activity to your Approaching position. You were right. They've definitely got their hands full today. Stay focused. Prep gate crasher. 60 seconds.
soldiers. Advent's reward for obedience and service. We've all heard rumors. I just never believed it was true. No one wanted to. But we find what we're looking for today. I promise you that's gonna change. Let's move. To secure the package. Let's hope our intel was good. This is the place. Are you sure? Yes. Looks like there's an access panel attached. If you get me a better look, I might be able to... Next time. with wish we had more time i don't disagree but as it stands now we risk losing the patient if we don't begin the removal procedure immediately we are ready good then let's get on with it <laughs> remarkable just like 20 years ago Cerebral cortex. Good. Prepping for cranial intrusion. I've managed to identify the connection. Preparing to make final incision. These readings are getting really erratic. Of course they are. These implants were never designed to be removed. We are risking severe... No plan B here, people. Do it.
respiratory response normal. Vital stabilizing. Procedure complete. Told them it would take more than that to keep you down. Welcome back, Commander. Glad to see you're finally coming out of it. Don't envy the headache you must have, though. Still, can't fault Dr. Tigan. Especially as no one's even attempted something like this before. Easy. We're still not entirely sure what they did to you. That chip was buried halfway into your skull. Lost a lot of good soldiers looking for you over the years. Almost gave up hope you were still out there. Acted on the intel as soon as I got word. Not sure what you remember, but uh, a lot's changed. Did the best I could, but the last 20 years have been tough without you. You uh, feel like catching up. Shen has the archive up and running on your terminal. Otherwise, I'd go see Dr. Tigan when you're ready. There's some things you should know. He'll be better at explaining them than me. It's damn good to have you back, Commander. Impressive, isn't it? Capable of generating immense power, yet completely harmless to human life. If only the same could be said for the rest of the aliens' technology, Commander. Dr. Richard Tigan, Chief Science Officer. I am responsible for the entirety of our research here as well as the procedure you so recently underwent. Welcome to my lab, such as it is. I'm not sure what Central may have told you, but we found something while removing you from the alien stasis suit. A device implanted directly in your occipital lobe. Had I access to the equipment available to me during my tenure at Advent, I would already know the precise nature of its function. However, Given time and your approval, of course, Commander, I assure you, I will find out. Which brings to light an additional point. Though aspects of this facility are indeed impressive, I am but one man. Were you to direct additional support personnel and resources to me, I could substantially improve the speed of all our research. A farewell, Commander. I heard you, Shen. When we get the thing, you'll be the first to know. Attention. Unauthorized presence detected. Commander! Give me a second. Execute Echelon Protocol. Attention. Senior Command Exchange confirmed. I had wanted that to be a little more... ceremonious. But we've got something. A local resistance cell just located this hybrid magnetic power converter that Shen's been pushing us to find. They tracked the device to a nearby Advent convoy and are attempting to take it down. If we can bring this converter back in one piece, we might actually get this place up and running and give the aliens a real war for a change. The squad is prepped and ready to launch on your order, Commander. Just give the word. Standing around. It's perfect. Come on, let's get it inside. Okay. Reworked your repulsors with some of the parts I salvaged from their old engine. Should fix that stabilization problem you had. Come on, Rover. It'll work. <laughs> Commander! Getting our tech to talk to theirs is harder than you think. Lily Shen, Chief Engineer. At your service. You are probably expecting to see my father. In all that's happened, I'm guessing Central didn't tell you yet. He's gone. Dad gave 
everything he had to get us this far. This entire ship is his life's work. I know he would have loved to show you around the place himself. He used to talk about you a lot. You can be sure I'm ready to finish what he started. Might not look it, but from here, I can fabricate pretty much anything you come up with. And with a little more help, well, you'd be amazed with what I can do. It was an honor to finally meet you, Commander. Research based upon this simple design. If only I had no. Ah, Commander, excellent timing. There's been some progress. I've managed to break down several key components of the chip implanted into your skull. My analysis reveals that its primary function was that of a conduit, passing a vast amount of data directly to your cerebral cortex. With the primary connection severed, much of that data is lost. Several fragments do remain, however. Uh, ghosts, if you will. Observe. Tactical combat simulations. War games. The sheer volume of encounters you were processing was astounding. It... It is truly remarkable that you survived as long as you did. Though this may seem disconcerting, there is still some good news. This chip bears a striking resemblance to a medical implant I briefly assisted in developing at the Gene Therapy Clinic in New Providence. My understanding was that the implants were intended for high-ranking Advent officers only, captains or above. Retrieving a chip from such an officer would be the only way to know for certain. A greater understanding of these implants would undoubtedly benefit us all, Commander. Just stay clear of the perimeter, understood? Commander, good. I think we got something here. Despite all of Advent's efforts, there are still people who refuse to believe their lies. And it's time we let them know they're not alone. We've already located a target for our first operation. Sir, given our current location, there's actually no way the Sky Ranger could reach that position. Who said anything about the Sky Ranger? Shen, status report. Are we ready? Short answer? Yes. But you might all want to hold on to something. With one exception, it is good to see you again. In the days since your capture, I have done all I can to aid the Resistance from the inside. It was these Resistance operatives that provided the intel leading to your recent extraction. As of now, Resistance forces are currently somewhat disorganized. If we are to defeat Advent and their alien masters, you must change this before it is too late. What you are seeing are classified reports of missing civilians from across the world. Their numbers are growing. We suspect they have been taken to a nearby Advent Black Site, though its exact location remains unknown. Time is short, Commander. We need you to take charge of resistance operations throughout the world. Establish contact with the local cells and bring them into the fold. Find this black site and shut it down. Save our world. The clock is ticking. Good luck, Commander. You are 
too trusting, John. The skirmishers are Advent. Advent is the enemy. The enemy is food. Try not to bring that up when we meet, Volk. You? Take their side? After all we've seen these years? Look, I'm not exactly having drinks with them, but they did hold up their end of the bargain. What about you? Wait and see. Volk, out. Actually think they might show up. Commander. That was Konstantin Volokov, Volk to his friends. He and his Reapers are a big part of the reason why you're standing here today. Volk may be a little rough around the edges, but he's the real deal. Heads one of three resistance groups operating independently from us that we consider a legitimate threat to Advent. Together, they'd make one hell of a fighting force. Too bad they hate each other. Still, we've made some unlikely progress. Volk's Reapers may have found you, but they weren't acting alone. They were tipped off by a group of Advent defectors known as the Skirmishers. No one's big on working with these guys, knowing where they came from. But you wouldn't be here without their help. Both the Reapers and the Skirmishers have agreed to suspend hostilities provided you serve as the go-between. Trust doesn't come easy between these two, so we're heading for a nice quiet spot on neutral ground. Even so, let's not take any chances. Intel on this area is weak, and we're picking up strange chatter on comms. Not to mention we're ending a decade-long blood feud today. I'd advise our soldiers to be fully prepared before we deploy on this one, Commander. Good luck. Proceed to the first set of coordinates. Firebrand and the second team will head to the next drop point. Biological signatures in the area ahead. Then I'd say we're in the right place. Stay sharp out there today, people. Just because this city was abandoned doesn't mean it's lifeless. If you are hungry, there's more where that came from. Impressive reflexes, but unnecessary. Stand down. We're all friends here. You are safe here. More so than you imagine. We shall see if the same holds true for these skirmishes of yours. Your presence already disturbs them. We must move quickly. My people will take care of this camp. Come. Damaged and dormant all these years, these devices still emit trace elements of unstable radiation. I cannot fathom what they were like in their original function. We were there, Doctor. You're better off having missed it. No more time for regret. We are not alone! Those things! They still look like people! What was human died years ago. Only the taint of the aliens survives now. Where there is one, more will follow. You must not hesitate to destroy them. These creatures' DNA has mutated well beyond what we would classify as human. Perhaps the result of long-term exposure to the alien radiation from those pods. Though why anyone would subject themselves to that, I cannot imagine. When the governments fell, millions starved. Many fled to cities such as this to scavenge for food. They did not heed the warnings. For years, my people hunted his kind. For years, we survived. Now, you risk everything for your dreams of peace. If you haven't noticed, the aliens have been kicking our planet's ass for the past 20 years. You think maybe it's time we try something else? If only your speeches could take down these cursed creatures. Though their intelligence appears almost non-existent, these creatures seem to employ some sort of rudimentary communication system. 
perhaps auditory signals or some form of hive-like consciousness. Your point, Doctor? The entire swarm knows there is food here now. I would advise we make haste to leave this area. You should have a clear path through now. Second squad is already en route to Mox. Proceed to the rendezvous and await their arrival. Oh, we'll be there. Looks like trouble ahead. The rendezvous could be compromised. Stay focused. Contact! Get down! We may have a bigger problem here. I'm guessing that's our man. Well, our contact anyway. Crop side. Advent. Hobbit. Vox Tala. They were sent here to hunt. To purge the drunk. Tim. The lost. Our meeting point is still secure. She is free of the imposter gods. I would give anything that all my kind could say the same. Even sit down with your Reapers. Now, we must go. today, people. So, Advent's most brutal captain comes to atone for his crimes. I am no longer that being. I am free now. Taking off that helmet does not change what you are. Reapers have long memories. Elder Kraxad. Anytime. The way I see it, we have two options. Join forces and kick the Elders off our world, or kill each other here and now. The choice is yours. No one has ever done that before. No one shall ever do that again! What the hell is that? Vox Prima, Elder Assassin, relentless death that stalks my kind, butcher of free elephant. My people face another like her. They are the undying, Advent's curse upon us. We must combine strength if we are to have any chance of success. You are welcome to try. The entire swarm converges upon us. We cannot hold this position much longer. Outrider to Avenger, where the hell's our exit? This is as low as I can get her! No! I do not intend to die this day. I will follow! Fox Tala for ten. Time to return home, traitor! Chosen a different means of resistance. 
But our people fight for the same reason, for the world we once knew. Together we will end this occupation, or die trying. The Advent officers appear to be similar, if not physically the same as the common Advent trooper in terms of power and agility. However, field reports indicate a more developed mental acuity, as the officers do provide tactical directives to the subordinate Advent forces. I take it this was easier than your last procedure, Doctor. Central, Commander. Yes, I find the process to be far less disconcerting when the subject has already expired. The results, however, it's best you see for yourself. My autopsy of the Advent Captain has confirmed the existence of an implant, similar in design to the unit I extracted from the Commander. But there are differences. What kind of differences? The data you see is being pulled directly from this Advent Captain's implant. The sequence here is essentially you, Commander. Or at least the tactical information they were processing through your mind. As you can see, the data is nearly identical. They were using you against us. Yes, however, the Advent data shows signs of decay. Removing the Commander from their network has likely caused significant damage. Network? Yes. What we're seeing here is a psionic network. These implants are capable of receiving and transmitting information, a great deal of information, somehow encoded in a stream of psionic energy. My working theory? Advent uses this network to augment the tactical readiness of its troops, as well as disseminate orders from its central command. Observe. subject's diminished condition, the implant continues to have an effect. A truly astonishing achievement. Or a weakness. Potentially. But I need direct access to their network to know for sure. I'm guessing that won't be easy. We'd need an active link. And that would mean hacking a live Advent officer. Like I said, not easy. Still, it's the best lead we've got. Your call, Commander. Local? Nothing on the local comms. Advent's been quiet lately. I'm guessing we have you to thank for that. Our pleasure, Den Mother. Enjoy it while it lasts. We plan to. Our water purification... Massive signal started. coming from the Advent Network Tower. It's... global. Sir, I think you want to see this. Fellow citizens. For 20 years, the Advent Coalition has worked tirelessly to repair the ravages and injustices of the old world. Under our stewardship, our cities prosper, our people flourish, and our world heals. And yet, among us, there are still those who would refuse to acknowledge the truth, who are determined to see all that we have achieved! Multiple Crumb. radar contacts on approach to Haven Alpha 7. That must end. Even as I speak to you today... You've got incoming on approach! Your signal's breaking up. ...territories to end this scourge once and for all. They're right on top of you! Losing you, Avenger. Raise them again! We will ensure your continued safety and well-being throughout this crisis. <laughs> Operation, we will overcome these radical elements and usher in another 20 years of peace and prosperity. They don't stand a chance. Commander, we should get a squad ready to deploy.
see you, sister. Miscreants, restrain yourselves, lest you be restrained. No, the three of us called upon together. Something has changed. On that, we are agreed. The battlefield has shifted. Our masters have need of us once more. Sounds to me like they're afraid. <sighs> you dare defile this place with your wretched tongue? Oh, I dare. I was never witness to one myself. Countless observers attest to the existence of a much smaller, less intimidating variant of the sectoid that took part in the original invasion. In the time since, this new being, the product of clear genetic manipulation, is now a familiar face to our forces operating in the field. attention. Our unwelcome guests are on the move. Advent has been diverting considerable resources and personnel to covert facilities across the globe. The exact details of these operations are highly classified. However, they do have one thing in common. A single word that appears in all their files. Avatar. I believe the black site we had previously uncovered to be but a part of this Avatar project. Based on what we have uncovered so far, its true scope is far greater. This project is being directed from the very top of Advent, from a source I am still unable to determine. All attempts to uncover its identity have met with failure. It is time to take a more direct approach. Though we may not know the exact nature of this Avatar project, we can still disrupt it. We must root out these hidden facilities with the help of local resistance cells, disrupt our enemy's operations, and in the process, uncover the truth. Locate the source of this Avatar project, and then destroy it. Were the enemy to succeed in their efforts, I am certain it would mean the end for us all. I am confident you will take whatever measures necessary 
to eliminate this threat, Commander. This specimen, known to our troops as the Advent Priest, has up until recently been rarely sighted outside the city center. While not physically intimidating, much like the elders themselves, these priests are deceivingly powerful psionic beings. Even in death, their remains still radiate with powerful afterimages of psi energy. These magnetic-based weapons are a lot like the early railgun prototypes. They fire projectiles at extremely high velocity. Although I would expect to be growing more accustomed to seeing the clear intermingling of both human and alien genetic material, I must admit, this reptilian creature with such distinctive human features is surprisingly unsettling. Invasion era reports include references to a species with some reptilian qualities, but nothing as readily apparent as this. These robotic units developed by Advent seem to be wholly autonomous, capable of targeting and engaging selected units without reliance on external verification. Although it falls on me to work through the initial disassembly, I fully intend on involving Shen in this process, as her knowledge of robotics far outweighs my own. After a careful examination of the specialized Advent unit identified as the Purifier, I have found clear evidence of genetic modification to the subject's thermoregulatory gland. These changes, in conjunction with their specialized armor, give the purifiers an impressive heat tolerance, bordering on total immunity. You know them as they were, the soldiers of Advent. Now they are free to choose. If you stay your course, Commander, they will stand with you until the end. My people understand the value of our cooperation, Commander. The Elders see us as nothing more than raw materials for their designs. We will take back our power and turn it against them. I am at a loss for words to describe the difficulties we have had in attempting to handle this creature, affectionately known as the Faceless, to our troops. The nebulous form of its physical structure, including a pliable, semi-solid outer layer, seems to be slowly degrading now that the creature has expired. There is also a pungent odor that only seems to grow stronger as time passes. Although similar in appearance to the psionic zombies we have encountered previously in our engagements with the aliens, all current indications are that these lost are the product of something else entirely. Prolonged exposure to the chemical agents first released in the earliest stages of the invasion seem to have turned these once innocent civilians into yet another form of the undead. Physically, the Advent shield bearers are quite similar to the bulk of Advent's forces and that they are the product of careful genetic engineering that generally mirrors the human form. Most of their unique qualities come from a difference in equipment and armor. Components I'm sure Shen would have an interest in examining. The aliens aren't going to be happy when they see we've got energy weapons just like theirs now. Central Officer Bradford has personally substantiated claims that the massive frontline unit they call the Muton was actually at one time even larger than the specimen I have before me today. As it is, the creature is abnormally warm to the touch for a corpse, and I must say, it is quite disconcerting. I'm guessing that's not water in there. Shen, any readings? No signs of radioactivity, no significant energy signatures of any kind. Whatever it is, it's safe to handle. We've confirmed acquisition of the sample. Move to rendezvous at the extraction point. Although it had been here since I conducted my last autopsy, I found the process returned to me quite naturally. 
This subject was perhaps less intimidating because of its similarities to varying reptile species found naturally on Earth. Because of extensive cytogenetic modifications to the subject's chromosomes, this could very well be the only male variant in the entire species. It's nothing on this end. All systems check out. It's almost as if our own signal is bouncing back at us. Perimeter alarm! Looking for a breach. Almost got it. There! It's one of those things. That can't be good. can deploy immediately. Just give the word. The product of an extensive fusion of both alien biological material and advanced mechanical support systems, the Archon is an unusually ornate design by alien standards. With an air of authority spurred by its distinctive appearance, I can only assume the aliens intended it to be something of a herald to the other forces. Referred to by our troops in the field simply as a specter, it has so far been difficult to ascertain by what means this being is able to shift forms from a solid to gaseous state at will. I had theorized it could be a cloud of nanomachines, or perhaps even an insect swarm. However, those theories have proven false, while offering no new direction for my research. Spike is our only chance of getting out of here. We can't let the aliens take this ship. Commander, we're making progress piecing this thing back together, but it hasn't been pretty. Our soldiers completely disabled this unit in the field. What we're hearing is merely a byproduct of electrical impulses. I assure you, it is well past the point of feeling pain. I'll take your word for it, Doctor. I'm sending you a new sequence now. These are coordinates. Return coordinates. 
think we've got a point of origin. Well, part of one. Something else. Something underneath. One more. The unit is attempting to block further access. That's not all it's doing. I'm losing the data we've already decrypted. Almost there. Just one more adjustment. <laughs> Accessing the power core, overriding my safety, increasing power levels to I can sever the connection. There. Some sort of fail-safe protocol, I imagine. The codex must have intentionally overloaded the interface to prevent any further theft of information. Still, I believe I was one step ahead. That's an enormous amount of data. Yes, and I expect it may take some time to decipher. Better get started. I don't think we're going to be able to do that again. I'll proceed with the necessary research and preparation. With your approval, of course, Commander. I'd also suggest we look into those coordinates. That's if I can reconstruct the data we lost in the transfer. I just hope it was worth it. Presumably, the name Chrysalid derives from assumptions made previously about the creature's unusual means of reproduction. Although rumors have long prevailed about the existence of zombies created as a byproduct of the Chrysalid gestation, recent reports seem to indicate a new, equally disturbing means of propagating their species. As initially speculated by Shen, it does, in fact, appear that this creature is restricted to the confines of its own hulking environmental suit. Unfortunately for our troops, the suit itself is a powerful physical threat, regardless of the operator's status, as we learned with some astonishment in the field. This specimen, henceforth referred to as the Gatekeeper, seems to harbor considerable psionic power. As with the alien's other unique biomechanical field unit, it will take some time to decipher the systems involved in its function. From what I've been told, our troops took to calling this large robotic unit a sectopod, under the initial assumption that it was being controlled by a sectoid pilot. On closer inspection, we can see that is not the case. Not unlike the mechanized advent units, which were likely derived from the sectopod itself. This machine seems to be entirely autonomous. Okay, people, stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today, no matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility, there is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. Then that's where we need to be. Such bravery. Such steadfast determination. Such arrogance. To step foot in this sacred temple and dare strike down a child of the gods. Your hubris is your downfall. the beast now, people. Proceed carefully. What is that? Some kind of stasis chamber for the Chosen? No wonder they keep coming back at us despite everything we throw at them. Even now, we feel its absence. 
the greatest leap towards the boundaries of what could be considered reasonable and ethical research. Even in wartime, I must consider the fact that by providing an already unstable alien being with equipment that may further its own capabilities, I risk crossing a line that can never be uncrossed. Still can't believe it's come to this. I truly hope those gruesome images are the worst of what we find today. They're slaughtering us, Doctor. What could be worse? We're about to find out. I've patched the shadow chamber directly into the ship's computer. It's been sifting through the material we've recovered non-stop since our return. Cataloging sequences. Genetic sequences. In near-infinite combinations. Yet all bearing similar genetic markers. Human. Markers. There must be thousands of them. Tens of thousands. And the procedure is still nowhere near complete. Which is why we need the ship's computer to find out where they came from. By cross-referencing them with the data we've managed to hack from the Advent Network. It's... an admission file from one of the gene therapy clinics. Avatar. Just what exactly is in that vial? In my worst nightmares, I would never have imagined. Doctor. I believe we have found the missing civilians. That's... That's impossible. The gene clinics. Millions of people just looking for help. Medically screened and selected. Suitable candidates taken to that contemptible facility to be processed. We find into the material we now possess. But... Why do this? I could not begin to fathom a guess at this point. There exists no research that would ever warrant this. It's genocide, Doctor. And these people are walking right into it. We may not know what they're doing with this stuff, but I think I can find out where it's going. Got it. A high security production facility. Standard defensive complement. Then I strongly suggest we pay them a visit, Commander. Agreed. The information we gain could prove invaluable towards stopping the aliens' true agenda. I have always been particularly fascinated with this species, ever since the first time I spotted one during my travels. Although I had seen the biomechanical horrors deployed by the aliens during the initial invasion, these creatures appear to be something else entirely. Possessing a certain flair, not typically found amongst the aliens, I found this creature to be of great intelligence, masked by the incredible hold of the Elders. Okay, people. Stay alert and remember why you're here. That thing dies today, no matter what it takes. Detecting a strong energy signature further ahead in the facility. There is no doubt in my mind that it is from the Chosen. 
then that's where we need to be. I was hoping you might take a little longer to find this place. Things were just starting to get interesting between us. Now, you're already dead. You're not supposed to be here. You were never meant to figure out our little trick. Full of surprises, aren't you? Soon to be full of holes. Central, Commander, excellent. My analysis of the fragmented codex data is almost complete. The information I've uncovered so far outweighs the loss of the Shadow Chamber, as you'll see. Is that... an Elder? Haven't seen one in at least a decade. Yes, and I believe I now understand why. The Elders appear to be afflicted with an aggressive form of tissue degeneration. Rapid muscular atrophy, to a degree I had not even thought possible. So they're dying. Sounds like our job just got a whole lot easier. As with most things involving this adversary, it's never quite that simple. The Elders have been aggressively searching for a cure to their condition for centuries. Each time they encountered a new species, they procured what genetic information and material they required and moved on to the next world. Until now. I believe they found something in us. Something important enough to cause them to take root. A cure? Not that I can determine. Several key files were previously deleted as part of something called the Avatar Directive. Avatar? We need those files. Were I to gain access to a fully functioning codex, I might be able to recover them. Or blow the entire ship to hell this time around. I didn't say I needed the creature here, Bradford. I am confident I could access the unit remotely, provided your soldiers can get close enough to it in the field without destroying it first. That we can arrange, Doctor. Heavy resistance and stay focused. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Not our first time in one of these facilities, so we have to assume the Chosen know we're here. That didn't stop us before, and it won't stop us today. You know what to do. Locking on to the Chosen's energy signature. Uploading the coordinates now. Understood. Move out. Take pride, XCOM. Pride that you have come further than any of your kind. Pride that your death this day honors the Elders. At last, a true battle. You have done well, XCOM. Know that you have earned a good death. we see employed by Advent throughout their various facilities and security checkpoints are automated, much in the same way the alien mechanized units are. A significant amount of time was likely spent developing the optical sensors and targeting system, which I expect Shin will want to thoroughly examine following the disassembly process. First it's human bodies, now we're finding Advent. Something tells me they didn't abduct these ones. Looks more like a production facility to me. The configuration is different. Is it possible 
Could this be where the Advent forces are coming from? Nothing is beyond the realm of possibility when dealing with the aliens. How can that be? It's just like the one... Carefully! Preserve the specimen at all costs! On the surface, yes. But in function... Ah, Commander, excellent. We can begin. It is no secret that Advent soldiers possess both human and alien genetic characteristics. Preliminary analysis led me to believe that this was the result of direct modifications made to a pre-existing human host. Prisoners, or perhaps even unwitting volunteers. See your local Advent recruiter today. However, the reality is something else entirely. The Advent Troopers at the facility we discovered, including the specimen before you, were manufactured. Each soldier possesses a unique genetic code. Predominantly human, of course, but with some fragments left open. Left open for what? Whatever alien DNA Advent wishes to insert. Sectoid. Mutine. Even the species our soldiers refer to as Berserker. In all cases, human genetic material serves as a bonding agent, holding the strands together. Human material? You mean the stuff we found at the Black Side facility? Precisely. The key component in their soldier manufacturing process. So we've been fighting ourselves this entire time. In a way. But I believe there's more to it than that. The human DNA in this specimen bears one key difference from the entirety of the sequences decoded in the shadow chamber. Psionic sensitivity. Given the sheer volume of strands involved, this cannot be accidental. Screening process at the clinics. Avatar. The potential power of a being created with this template is significant. Central. Had we not intercepted it before the process was completed... I know, Doctor. Continue your research. Let us know if you find anything else. I'm not sure what we were expecting to find out here, but this... That's not the same rift the Codex used when it appeared. This thing could lead anywhere. It may not even be pointing at Earth. As with most things, we'll likely need to bring it back to the ship for further examination. But you're the only one who can pull this off. You know I'd go myself if I could. The gateway is primed. Is the subject prepared? Ready. I hardwired what was left of the Codex brain into Rover. It should be emitting the same signal the Codex used to pass through the gateway. Excellent. Let us begin. We've already seen the Codex opening a similar rift in the field. I am sure your device will be fine. There. We're set to record across all spectrums. Remember, go in, take some quick readings, then come right back through, okay? It appears our signal has been received. Increasing power. It doesn't look like any place we've been before. Or any place on Earth, for that matter. Perhaps this is the source. The alien's seat of power, if you will. Secured beyond any physical limitations. Only one way to find out. Go on. We're counting on you. Process did work. There was an instant where the device was in between locations. However, 
Once that occurred, the gateway called for a second signature, an organic signature. When we could not provide one, it generated a sort of feedback pulse. Obviously. If the codex creates the door, this organic signature must surely be the key. Well, we better make sure we have the right key before we try again. I would hate for this to occur to something organic. Agreed. I'll report our findings to the commander immediately. This creature represents a near-perfect fusion of human and elder DNA. Though remarkable, it appears as if the creature were unfinished, perhaps why we were able to ultimately defeat it. Still, this can lead me to only one logical conclusion. We had such hope for you. I believe we have found our avatar. It won't be easy, but I think it's the only option we have at this point. Agreed. We must inform the commander immediately. Go right ahead. Commander, Central, the Shadow Chamber has completed its analysis of the Avatar's DNA. It has identified the genetic sequence necessary to travel through the psionic gate. Perfect. We can finally shut this Avatar project down for good. However, the gate requires more than a mere transmission of genetic data. The sequence has to be part of a live subject. The key only works in lockstep with the signal. We don't have time to find another one of those things, let alone capture it. No. That part we can handle. We make our own. You're serious? Quite. Though the specimen before us is damaged beyond repair, it has provided us with its complete genetic blueprint. We already possess an unaltered avatar template from the Forge facility. That combined with the genetic material we recovered at the Black Site should allow us to replicate the procedure here. So, what's the catch? Yes, that. Without an elder consciousness driving it, the new avatar would remain as lifeless as the one before us. While I can develop its body, I cannot create the mind to drive it. But I can. In a way, by manipulating the new avatar via the psionic network. You want to operate one of these things by remote control? Not exactly. And definitely not me. Interfacing directly with their network would cause severe, if not fatal, trauma to an unprepared central nervous system. As it stands, we only know of one individual who has survived that kind of ordeal. That was different. The stasis suit. Created the perfect interface to the network, one tailored to your specific biology, Commander. Of any human candidate, you are the most likely to survive the connection. Most likely is not good enough, Doctor. It is the only answer I can give you, and our only option to traverse the alien portal. We need to come up with a game plan before we charge through the enemy's front door which will give you some time to think about this, Commander. Priority message for the Commander coming through on a secure channel, sir. On screen. Sir, it's coming from the Advent Network Tower. You heard me. He's taking a big risk contacting us like this. Hello, Commander. You and your crew are to be commended. Your efforts in rebuilding the Resistance Network and uncovering the truth about the Avatar Project have been admirable. I only wish I had better news to report. When does he ever? Advent is not taking the death of an Elder lightly, and in turn have greatly accelerated the final stages of their Avatar Project. A plan is now in place for the rapid processing of all non-essential human life to begin immediately. Very soon, Advent's speaker will announce a breakthrough in gene therapy, a final treatment for the human condition. Billions will flock to gene therapy clinics across the globe. They will never return. 
I have managed to secure tactical data and access codes to the Advent Network Tower. The speaker's address will be broadcast live to a global audience via this facility. The whole of Advent's network will be listening. It is this hubris that we must use against them. The information I am sending you should allow Dr. Tigan and Chief Engineer Shen to take control of the transmission and disrupt their entire network from within. Though my hope is that this disruption will confuse the enemy's forces long enough to allow your final assault a chance of success, I ask one more thing of you. Take what you have learned. Let the world know what is happening here. Wake them up. Broadcast the truth before there is no one left to listen. It seems we are both out of time. Farewell, Commander. Sir, meeting limited resistance. Well done, Doctor. Yes, it would appear the feedback pulse is having the intended effect. Shen, status. Did it work? Advent assures us this breakthrough will be available to all citizens immediately. We go live to the speaker for more. Fellow citizens, for 20 years we have put our trust in Advent, in the elders because we believed a better future is possible for all. Today, that trust, that belief has been rewarded. Advent peacekeeping forces are traveling across the world, carrying the greatest gift from the Elder. A revolutionary gene therapy, yes, but so much more. This is an end to disease, to decay, to pain. The beginnings of a new tomorrow, available to all of us today. Truly, humanity finally takes its rightful place amongst the stars. I've infused this material with the entirety of our viable Elder DNA. We won't get another chance at this. Final connection is set. Power levels adequate. One more look at the Shen, buffer. watch you go over this thing 50 times. Take a breath. We are ready. Primed and ready, sir. Patch me through. All right, people. The world got its wake-up call. And now they know the truth. Advent is a lie. And their time is up. They've got a full-fledged war on their hands now. While the aliens struggle to contain our world, we're gonna make a move on theirs. It won't be easy. But you're used to that. Did what was needed. You never gave up the fight. You are XCOM. And you're gonna end this. Humanity is counting on us, people. Good luck, Commander. No way of 
knowing if they detect our presence yet. Such loss. Such need in this waste. You force our hand. Yet still, we offer peace. Rejoin us, and your world will be saved. This entire facility submerged beneath our oceans. For how long, I wonder? One problem at a time, Doctor. My form is but a shadow about you. We seek to defy that which would consume us all. Your efforts deny the surface. Before you leave us. You've got a plan B here. Nice work. Was it anything on my end? This shouldn't even be possible. Unless... Commander, whatever it is you're doing, it's working. Just make sure you save enough juice for your own trip home. Commander, you okay? We just lost contact. Enveloping the commander's consciousness. Then sever the connection. We do that, we risk a complete overload. We will claim what was given. We will be whole once more. No! Synaptic activity returning to acceptable levels. And one transdimensional psionic network down for the count. Mission accomplished, Commander. This is the Liberation Network broadcasting on all frequencies. Advent is in full retreat across all areas. The heavy fighting continues in the city centers as Advent forces attempt to regroup. We're barely keeping up with the flood of refugees here, as people continue to desert the Advent-controlled city centers. Full curfew remains in effect as the administration deals with the ongoing crisis. To all of you in the occupied zones, hold your ground. Continue the fight. We promise you, help is on the way.
finally come in from the cold.